Hey guys, so I've got another tutorial today, and this is going to be about creating um, superhero style um, powers for stuff in games. So, you know, as as I really suggest that superhero powers, you know, you can have any sort of element that you want. But I'm going to cover four, almost four features today that you can add to make a sort of a super character. The elements that I'm going to cover, you may have seen in some of the other tutorials, but I'm, you know, I'm going to refresh over those and show you how you can incorporate them all together to make something that encapsulates a full sort of system in one. So, what we're going to do is, you don't need to do anything fancy, so all you would need is a first person controller with the general um, um, scripts on that come with the package. Um, and all you, we're going to do is refer to some of these elements in the character motor. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to start by creating a script because the script is going to actually hold everything that we need to do. So I'm going to name this script SH controller for superior controller and then I'll open it up in mono develop. So I'll delete those two functions and then what I'll do is we'll start writing the variables that we're going to use for this script in itself. So I'll create a private variable and call this ch motor and have that as type character motor because what we're going to do is we're going to actually reference that script on the um, FPS controller so we can change the speed and the height and everything like that then what I'm going to do is create four private variables and the both they're all going to be a, a sort of booleans for this um, type of powers we're going to have so super sprint and then we're going to set that as type boolean and set it equal to false what I'm going to do is create three more and then I'll create one called super jump and then another one called slow mo and then another one called hawk eye so what we're going to have is we're going to have as they suggest super sprint super jumping um, slow motion and sort of a zoom in, sort of look, look at the distance effect. Then under there we're going to have four normal variables. So one variable called main camera, set it as type camera. Oops, don't let it change it for you. Then we're going to say variable zoom integer equals 20. Variable normal, call on integer equals 60. Then variable smooth as float equal to 5. Now what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to write function start so we're going to actually reference the character motor script that we're going to try and get hold of so we'll say ch motor equals get component open brackets character motor now if you've ever seen any of the other scripts and you'll say that I always do game object dot find and then the game object that we're looking for the script on but because we're going to place this script actually on the first person controller itself it knows to already look at that game object so we just need to find a component in it so I'll make sure that's saved for now and then we're going to go to the update function and start writing the maj main majority of this script so we'll write function update and then add two curly brackets and then from there I'll put a little quote and I'll put you know this is going to be our super jump section so what I'm going to start off by saying is if input dot get key down open brackets quotes one close the brackets in the quote then I'll add one curly bracket there and says super jump equals question mark super jump and then put a semicolon and then what that means in itself is that every time we press um, one it will sw the, the exclamation mark above the same word means do exactly opposite to what it's doing each time so if super jump so if super jump here is equal to you know, it's, um, false. If we press one, it'll do exactly of what it's set at the moment. So if it's set to false, it'll set it to true. Then if it's true, it'll set it to false. So it just alternates for what we want to do. And then what we'll do is under here, I'll say if super jump 
is equal to true, then I'll add two curly brackets. Then I'll say ch motor dot um, jumping dot base height is equal to 100. And then I'll do a similar thing ch motor dot movement this time dot max fall speed is equal to 200. So what this means is that if super jump is actually set to true then we're going to change the actual height at which we can jump so the base height and the fall speed of which we reach the ground you can find uh, base height and max fall um, speed in the actual um, character motor script here so if you click that you can find all the variables that you might be after um, and then what we're going to do is under there I'll say else if super jump is equal to false add two curly brackets then we'll say we'll just copy these two lines and then say base height equals 10 and that equals 20 you can set this to whatever you want and then what I'll do is I need another curly bracket to finish this off so if I save that now and I go into unity and if I add the superhero controller to that and then we press play you'll notice that everything's normal until I press 1 you'll notice that these values here changed and you'll notice that you know I can jump really really high now all the way out of the actual scene that I've got and if I press 1 again you'll notice that I can't quite jump as high just depending what you set now that's for jumping and make sure that you you know you leave this curly bracket right at the end so it's on this one we'll actually add something called super speed this time so super speed so we'll add a little comment and then I'll say that if input dot get key down open brackets to it's going to be very similar to what we did before then I'll add two curly brackets and then I will say super sprint super sprint is equal to exclamation mark super sprint and then close that and what I'll do under there is say if super sprint is equal to true then add another two curly brackets and say ch motor dot movement dot max forward speed is equal to we'll say 50 and then ch motor dot movement dot max sideways speed is equal to 50 and then I'll underneath that curly bracket set else if super sprint is equal to false then we'll close that and add these two curly brackets we'll copy this same line there and we'll, instead of having 50 we'll, ha we'll just add 6 so that's normal so now as I say if we save that we try and play the game you'll notice that we're moving at normal speed if I press 2 you'll notice that the things change and I can move quite quickly but you gotta be careful you know because my scene isn't very big so you can fall off the end so once you've done that that incorporates the, the sort of sprinting now under here what we'll do is we'll add the slow motion oh, make sure you have two things and then I'll say again that if input dot get key down open brackets uh, quotations and three close the two brackets add two curly brackets at the end and then I'll say slow mo equals exclamation mark slow mo and then I'll say that if slow mo 
is equal to true and and time dot time scale is equal to 1.0 close the brackets add two curly brackets and then say time dot time scale is equal to 0 0.3 with a um, semicolon under there I will then have else leave a little line break and say time with a capital dot time scale is equal to 1.0 with a semicolon and then say time dot fixed delta time equals 0 0.02 times by time dot um, time scale with a semicolon and then we'll save that and we'll go into unity and if I press play but you gotta be careful because I accidentally made my slow-mo a capital so now I'll go back into unity and you know we're working as normal now if I press 3 you'll notice that everything goes slow motion we can have things on top of each other so if I press 2 means that we're moving even quicker put slow motion on press 1 and we can jump really high in slow motion activate things all at once um, and then one of the last things that we're gonna do is do the actual zoom so we'll have another script um, comment called Hawkeye and just like we pretty much did before we'll do it at, um, if input dot get key down open brackets for close those brackets add two curly brackets and we'll say Hawkeye equals Hawkeye with the exclamation mark add the semicolon then we'll say if hawk i is equal to true we'll close that up and we'll say that main camera dot field of view is equal to math f dot lerp open brackets main camera dot field of view comma zoom comma time dot delta time times by smooth and we'll also go beneath those two curly brackets set else if hawk i is equal to false but then under there with the um, curly brackets we'll say main camera in fact, before I write this, I will just pretty much copy this line. And the only thing that I'm going to replace is the zoom to normal. And I will do that. What I'm actually going to do is set this smooth amount to 100. Oops. And then save my script. And then we'll go back into Unity. And what we need to do is actually add the main camera that we've got in our scene to our script there so now if I press play you'll notice that if I press 4 we'll zoom in but what we might need to do is just change that smooth value to 100 there and then when you press play you'll notice that we get you know a good zoom so we can um, enable super jumping slow motion zoom in all at one time just to see what's going on in the world now that's pretty much it for what I was going to show you for the actual four superpowers that I was going to cover today you know I'm making something so you can turn all the powers on and off you might want to actually add something um, you know appropriate to the um, scene or if you're seeing like RPGs you might see um, sometimes like an action bar at the bottom of the screen which shows you know what sort of skills that you can use so to add something like this you know to make it obvious to the player you can incorporate this any way you like I'll just write a new function called on function uh, on GUI should I say 
and then I'll put and we'll write on GY draw texture open brackets rect open another bracket say 10 comma 10 comma whatever the size of your image you want to use so mine's 500 by 101 close that brackets put a comma and then write your variable now my variable is called commands so what we need to do is go back up to the top and write a variable called commands and set that as type texture and then I'll save that out and close that go back into unity again and on my first person controller you'll notice that we have now have a texture slot and now if I find my texture I think I called it super commands there's my texture and then you make sure you have it set to a GUI and now you'll notice that at the top of my screen I've you know got um, press 1 for jumping 2 for sprinting, 3 for slow-mo and then 4 for zooming in so realistically you know you get sort of a visual element and you can place that anywhere you want on your screen or you know on your game just to show that you know you can create some dynamic elements really so as as I say that's pretty much covered the entirety of that superhero script and you know if you need if you want any more powers I can maybe work this into another tutorial but for now that's pretty much it and as ever if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers